All your nerd science brought to you by Skechers, the American lifestyle performance footwear company for men, women, and children. Now check out their latest nerd shoes. I'm talking about Star Wars, Superheroes, Marvel, DC. Find out more? Well, just go to Skechers.com or go to yournerdside.com and win a pair of Skechers shoes yourself. Skechers, these shoes are cool. Go try them out. Why don't you talk in the microphone? Check one, two. Testing, testing. Welcome to Comic-Con. Where once a year, sci-fi buffs take their lips off the barrel of a loaded gun and spend half a day adjusting their eyes to sunlight. You want to see a comic book with pregnant zombie nuns? You psychotic nerd! Dude, what a bunch of freaking nerdos. It's the CM White Nerdy. Look at the CM White Nerdy. I'm a nerd, too. Your personality needs some work. You're not part of the popular clique. But I was kind of a lonely nerd in high school. I started a quilt. I did yoga twice a week. I wore flip-flops in public. I like to roll with the gangsters. Although it's apparent I'm too wide and nerdy. I'm just too wide and nerdy. I'm just too wide and nerdy. Look at me, I'm white. It is time for another show, and uh, most important is if you are listening to this show right now, make sure to follow us on iTunes. If you're listening to it on TuneIn or any other kind of platform or off the website, uh, subscribe to iTunes. Please, we appreciate that. And always follow us on social media at Your Nerd Side. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of them right there. And tell us where you're listening from, okay? And I'll give you full details because we got emails about it. Yeah, they gave us tickets again uh, for Disneyland. We'll give you details for that. All right, in studio this week, we got AMV, and we're going to get to an interview a little bit later on. We got Tony Dow from uh, Leave It to Beaver. We had a chance to sit down with him at uh, what was it, Silicon Valley Comic Con? It was like uh, about a month and a half or so ago. ago. But before anything else, AMV. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about a movie that hit theaters, and which one could that possibly be? It's the solo movie that uh, they it's it's making millions of dollars, but millions, it's, but it's not not exa- billion. No, it's not exactly what they wanted. They're a little upset because it's only pulling. It's making less than I think like two million less than what they wanted. Versus Rogue One, right? This is what they're comparing. Yeah, it it's to, a little correct? lower, a little lower than uh, Rogue One. So the solo movie's in there. We saw it. We got to see it like uh, what, like four days earlier. And uh, very we'll, lucky and fortunate. We'll, what AMV was your reaction to uh, solo movie? Really fast. What'd you think? So the you could totally tell the magic when the magic from Ron Howard went there at the end of the movie. I just thought, thank you, Ron Howard, for saving the movie. Mm-hmm. And then the second thing, I'm still thinking, why did the directors pick that actor who, to play Han Solo? And then I saw a tear. Did I see a tear on your face after you left the movie because you were so disappointed? I, I was a little disappointed with the actor, but I wasn't disappointed with the cliffhangers and the twists at the end. But really fast, uh, Ron Howard wanted to discuss and talk about some of the characters in the movie. So this is Ron Howard. One thing that I would say about, about Beckett, about Val, about Rio, is that we do see that um, there is honor among thieves. Um, there was also dishonor. A lot of what Han is going to learn about the complexity of the world and the pain of, um, of, of loss and, and betrayal and disappointment comes from this, this relationship with this gang uh, of outlaws and, and his belief that they're going to be the key to his freedom. Did, did, it, did it seem like I was crying during the movie or it seemed upset? You were, yeah, you, you seem obviously upset. Like, people wanted to talk to you about it and you just didn't. Just I'm, 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 He's no Han Solo. That's I, he, all he kept on saying. Is, he's no Han Solo. He's no Han Solo. So I do a review on the movie. I do all the movies. I do, like, a review on it. And the first thing I wrote, and it's on yournerdside.com, is... First off, before I do this review, I want to make sure and tell everyone that I'm a little biased about it because one, Just a I am a Han Solo. No, repeat that. I, I apologize. I'm a Harrison Ford fanatic and fan. From Indiana Jones to every movie he's done, I've always liked it. Even with all Harrison Ford's affairs? Yeah, I don't care who he sleeps with. It doesn't bother me. Even if uh, he sleeps with you? If he slept with me, I try to get alimony. <laughs> but the, the, the whole thing is is that when you're trying to replace someone who just lived up to this this iconic kind of area when somebody else plays them in a different role it's just it's hard to do and what's so funny is i gave away we gave away passes to other co-workers yes. of our and one of the the parents brought his kids was sitting in the front row from us and he goes he goes yeah i just didn't feel the han solo guy but i asked my kids and my kids go dad this movie was awesome so if you're not a Harrison Ford fan, I think you'd really appreciate the movie. Yes. It was kind of cheesy at the very beginning. Like, there were some shots where, like, between Han Solo's legs and 
like, what? What's the point of that? I yeah, mean, it was yeah. very cheesy in the beginning. Thank you for firing those directors. Good Lord. And what did you uh, think of Donny Glover? Or Dan- Dan- Danny Donald- Glover. Donald Glover. Dan- I-, I thought, Donald. Da- I mean. It's Donald. Donald? Donald? Donald Glover. Sorry. Danny Glover is... I know, who okay. graduated from George Washington High School, who lives in Sonoma County right now. I know okay. too much about him. All right. Yes, uh... I think he did a really good job. Now, a lot of people who like, just like you said, people who grew up with the original Han Solo would be like, oh. And I would say that uh, Donald Glover did an amazing job playing Lando uh, Mauricio. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I mean, but if Lando, Lando if the original Lando was there, yeah, Lando, I mean, let's just put it that way. Lando, the original, was the whipped king and the cherry, but Donald brings just the whipped cream. Shh. Well, Donald Glover talked about the Star Wars movie. Listen to a quick soundbite from him talking about it. I I couldn't leave with a cape, but there's a fake fur cape that they had extra material of, so they made a pillow of it and gave it to me. That's Donald Glover there. The uh, what is he? The whipped cream or the cherry? Which one? He's was the it? whipped cream. The whipped cream. Yeah. And then uh, okay, so wait, you have to talk about L three thirty seven. She look, was amazing. Uh, the, the robot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She did a good job. Do you know she auditioned for that and she had no idea what she was auditioning for? She, she said she just wanted to be in the movie. Who, who's that actress? Uh, it's a Fee Waller Bridge. Yeah. She so just wanted she's to be done in a it. couple of other movies as well too. But I was really surprised what? who played Rio. Rio, which the one's the guy Rio? who died early with all the six arms? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, John. John Favreau. Thank you. Yeah, John job. Favreau. John Favreau's got his hands in everything. Boy, uh, he is, is he married? Uh, I'm probably sure he is. Best <laughs> friends with Vince Vaughn and the rest of the guys started out that oh, way. Vince Vaughn must give you a commission. You mentioned that man's love, name, and he's so dude, out of it. I love Vince Vaughn. I, I've always loved him, because he's so money. Uh, uh Favreau is just, I mean, he is the person that started off, he wanted to get Iron Man on, going, he loves comic books, got it going, and as a joke, just put a little tag at the end with uh, Samuel Jackson about the uh, Avengers Initiative. Just a joke, and he wanted to get something going. More for him, we wouldn't have this whole Marvel Universe and everything going on as it is right now. No, John, John's the top 500 celebrity that's viewed and research on. But it's Paul Bettany that you have to give a lot of credit for his acting. From um, from mm. British act, uh, gangster movies to The Knight's Tale, Master and Commander, and now from Vision, from the Marvel Universe, to now <laughs> oh my Star God. Wars. My God. Yeah, Vision to, uh, I forgot his name, playing the villain with the red face. I, I don't want to give away too many details. Uh, is, is it uh, Trident Voss? Is it Trident Voss? Trident Voss. I, I, I think he was part of the universe. So what did you think about the... Uh, We've seen him in The Force Awakens. We've seen him in Re- Jedi, The Last Jedi. Um, I'm talking about the new Chewbacca. And it's Junus Suotamo. That's his name, the basketball player. What do you think about his portrayal of Chewbacca? Just, he's get fatter. He's too skinny. Too skinny? Too skinny. For Chewbacca being as strong. I mean, again, uh, well, I guess it makes sense he was skinny. Right? He, he, they weren't feeding him, right, for three days. They said he was starving. No, I think he does fine. I think he does He does a good job. I actually think he does a better job than, than the original, the original. Chewbacca. Wow. And not, not dissing him. He did a, a good job. But you feel it. Oh, wow. Well, but, we, but you know who was I really enjoyed watching mm. um, was Woody. Woody. Woody Harrelson did a good job. He was really great. All right. Well, real fast, real fast. For and wait, wait, wait. And we can't have to wait. I know you're going to get mad at me. What? But I really want to put a shout out to Thandie Newton. She has been so great doing so many things. Not only is she a singer um, and a producer, mm-hmm. not for this movie, but just in ev- everything else. But she's doing this and uh, Westworld. And she just kills it. Like, she grabs the screen and the audience so easily. That's all. She had a. She played a small role, being one of the. I don't. I'm gonna ruin it if I say anything. You she, ruin all these episodes. You know why? This is spoiler for you guys. She played the uh, the 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 love interest to Woody Harrelson, and also she's a betrayer and working with a rebellion at the same time. So recently, do we want to hear from? Uh, do we want to hear from uh, uh, Chewbacca? Yeah, Junis, or we want to hear from Woody Harrelson? Which one? Chewbacca. All right. Here is uh, what Junis, and he's talking about how he's working with uh, Donald Glover. He's so good in, in the music he makes, in the acting that he does, and in, in the ideas that he has. That has just like been a f- breath of fresh air to, 
to to get to work with him on the scenes because he's his comic timing is so good and his all all the stories that he tells are always so interesting everybody's always listening and he he's such a not only a great actor but also such a really really privileged to uh, get to work with him as well and since we're on a roll right there Woody Harrelson also had a chance he wanted to talk about uh, his co-star Phoebe Waller-Bridge so there was a funny and memorable performance in the movie as Lando's droid companion L337. So here's Woody Harrelson. Phoebe is amazing. The the humor she's brought to this part and this character is going to be memorable. She she kind of, I mean, I should be a little more annoyed with her because she comes into every scene and essentially steals it and just comes up with all kinds of great stuff that... Uh, that stays in the film because it's just so good. She's a really richly funny lady. All right, so um, a solo movie came out. There was a big cliffhanger at the end. The cliffhanger, did that? Did you expect that at the end of the movie? And it's online already, and I posted something about it, that uh, Darth Maul was oh, the one. Oh, you were just, I mean, me my away. God, you cannot stop. And oh, like, I I mean, like, we had arguments about it, too. It blew like, me. is it? The Darth Maul of this. Is this just someone from his planet? No, no. Look at the legs. This is from this. I mean, it was going because back and forth. Because if you are a true fanatic for Star Wars, you've watched The Clone Wars. Wait, are you saying I'm not? I'm just saying I'm the Clone I'm sorry. I brought my five-year-old to watch Darth Maul die. <laughs> in The Clone Wars, uh, we know that Darth Maul survives, survives in a cave, finds artificial legs, eats anything he can and goes crazy, and his brother he helps pull him crazy. out. Yes. Then we find out in Star Wars Rebels, yes. he leads and he's trying to get, uh, I forgot his name, the, the young boy to join him. And he's got robotic legs that are hidden underneath his cloak. And then his mind comes back to normal. We never, do you remember how... He dies? No, 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 no. He not, does die in that. Though. No, 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 no. Not how he dies, but how his br- he got better. Like he wasn't as crazy as he was well, before. Well, he was, he was staying with the witches. Remember the witches? So the witches really did help helped him. A lot. him. Yeah. And it's Ezra. Ezra. Sure. Ezra. Try to get all, Ezra almost went to the dark side to go work with uh, uh, Darth Maul. And of course, Darth Maul isn't part of the Sith anymore. He, no, he's trying actually to bring down that world. He's bringing all that world down. He's still using the same powers, but not. Just Not kind of like set. by any means necessary type of mentality. So wow, I was really surprised. And most of people were most, do that. and most people led to believe that either Boba Fett was in the movie, or there is gonna be Job of the Hut, or Darth Vader, something that no, way. Darth Maul actually it was really well done. And I'm wondering, was that a Ron Howard thing that brought it? It was in? a Ron Howard thing. So Ron so he Ron thought about doing that twist. Ron Ron, for all those people who watch episode one, you have saved the graces because beside because that's what everyone say like, oh, why did they kill Darth Maul? It was the only good thing from episode one. So you did a wonderful thing right so there. So I kind of understand a little bit when we were at the Silicon Valley Comic Con, I tried to get an interview with Ray Park. Oof, who's he Darth did not want to talk to you at all. And I do realize why he didn't want to. They probably got him doing this. He goes, do not talk to media. Do not talk to anything about it. Oh, maybe that. he's not good in keeping his mouth shut. And second, remember we were going to get uh, Django Fett and Boba Fett, but they was kind of iffy. Again, they just signed it, and I was going to talk about it a little later, the new Boba Fett movie's coming out. These are all things they're working on next, so probably couldn't say anything, so I don't know. All right. Or maybe. The worst like. thing of Star Wars solo movie, of worst? course. The, the For Alden, you? Alden Elrich. You didn't like him. Did you like him at all or no? I mean... He- Okay, I'm going to be very superficial. I know it sounds petty, but he has curly hair. I was like, <laughs> I'm just like, it's bugging me. It's like he doesn't look anything. He tried at the end. Thank God to Ron Howard and his wisdom, but... Uh, uh, you I know mean, what? You know what? He He's like the goofy little brother that I have. I wouldn't think sex appeal. You know, from no, a female was. point of view, right? Maybe eventually he'll... I don't know. It's a oh, lot. you mean like he'll evolve like an Aaron Fonseca? <laughs> like you'd be like a goofball like you with your pl- fluffy hair and then all of a sudden you get like torn your heart broken and then you become a sex maniac and then all these women throw themselves at you until your famous AMV comes back in your life? Something like that? Yeah, with my I'm dice. your Princess Leia? So Alden <laughs> Elrich uh, was cuss- talking about Amelia Clark's character and also L337 kind of talking about him. Let's hear from Alden right now. What makes Kira a dynamic character involves a lot of mystery. And uh, I think Amelia's filled that 
mysteriousness with a lot of detail and a lot of a lot of specificities.